data validation from technology management. Data validation is an addition from technology management. It's available for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2016 onwards and will be available as an extension for NAV in the future. It extends the standard functionality of NAV by making certain fields mandatory on selected pages. In standard NAV, mandatory fields are simply indicated with a small red star next to the field. There is no checking, enforcement or guidance to the end user as to what will be an acceptable entry. Similarly, it is possible to have data entered that is technically correct in terms of setup, but is not valid in terms of business logic. For example, a US customer could be set up with UK domestic posting groups. So the data validation edition gives a sanity check, not just of data completion, but also of data quality. This means it can be used to both guide an end user and as a management tool to review data quality. The data validation templates list page is the main new area of this edition. It allows you to create and manage templates that contain the rules that will be used. As such, it lists the available template cards. Up in the ribbon, there is a new button on the Actions tab called Validate Data. This will let me launch the validation process. Each validation template card refers to one table and it references the table number. Here it is the customer table, table 18. The template will apply to all records of that type, i.e. all customers, unless a condition is set to apply to a subset of the records, so for example just US customers. In this case though, this template card will apply to all customers. We define the actual validation rules on each line of the template card. Each rule relates to a particular field number from the selected table. For a particular field, we can say that it either must equal a value, must match a filter, or must be a certain length. Then, we can set a user-friendly error message that will be displayed. Percentage 1 means it will use the field name in the error message. These four rules here then check that the credit limit and posting groups have been set up correctly. This second template card relates to the same table, table 18, customers, but it has a validation condition set so that it will only apply to customers from the country region of US. You can provide translations of the error message for use if you have other languages installed within NAV. I would need to give it the language code and then type in the translation. Here we have just one rule for validation referring to the general business posting group but as you can see the error message carefully guides the user as to what that value should actually be. The rules on the template card will not apply unless the template card itself has been marked as enabled. It is possible to trigger the validation process either from the templates or from the actual data as the new validate data button also exists on the actions tab of the ribbon here on this customers list page and on the customer card page. So now if I go from the customers list page to a customer card of a US customer, I can run the data validation. It will then find which of those data validation templates are applicable in this case to this record and check against all the rules on those data validation template cards. Here on the data validation error list page, it reports its findings. In this case, it found two errors. The first one is from the All Customers template, and the second is from the US Customers template. In each case, the error message gives guidance on how to fix the issue. To make the corrections, the user can simply go directly to the relevant customer card by clicking Open Record. So now if I correct the General Business Posting Group from Domestic to Export, and then I choose Validate Data on the ribbon, I can recheck the data. And now the error from the US customer's template is gone, leaving just the missing credit limit for me to deal with. Again, I click open record on the actions tab of the ribbon, and then I can fix the issue by entering a value for the credit limit. Now, if I go to validate data again, I will get this confirmation message that there are no further errors on this record.